close your eyes and snuggle down. Take a deep breath in, slowly pushing your tummy out. Now hold for just a moment and now slowly breathe out, allowing all the air out of your lungs. Deep breath in, slowly pushing your tummy out and holding for a moment and now slowly breathe out allowing all the air out of your lungs one more time deep breath in and breathe out letting go of any tension and everything you don't need anymore and just relax Now imagine yourself surrounded by a beautiful white light. A light so bright and so pure. A light of protection and peace just for you. Breathe in this white light and feel it as it enters your body completely, making you feel all warm and safe. Now imagine you're walking on a quiet forest path in the most beautiful forest you have ever seen. And as you're walking, you know that this is an ancient forest. And this forest is very special. And you are very safe, very loved and very protected. You take a big deep breath in and as you do, you can smell the fresh scent of pine in the air. And as you breathe out, you feel yourself relaxing more and more with each step that you take. And the trees are all around you and you can feel their wise energy surrounding you as you step deeper and deeper beneath the wonderful canopy of leaves. The sun is shining and there is a gentle breeze on your face and it ruffles your hair just a little bit and the warmth of the sun makes you feel all tingly inside and you feel very happy here. You notice that your attention is captured with watching the squirrels and the rabbits darting about. The squirrels are racing up and down the trees. The rabbits playing and running about chasing each other. And they really are having fun. And you notice the birds flying and hopping from place to place, singing their songs. And all the other wildlife at work and at play. It's a very busy place, this forest of yours. Now imagine what it would be like to enjoy yourself and have fun just like these little creatures exploring discovering and playing maybe you'd like to fly like a bird or climb a tree like a squirrel and be carefree or maybe you would just like to run like the rabbits what fun that would be what you don't do any of that today because today you are just walking around the forest Breathing in fresh, clean air in the warm sunshine. So you continue on your path, smiling, thinking about the beautiful little creatures who are having so much fun together. When you see up ahead of you, there's a little clearing. And as you enter the clearing, it's very quiet. And it feels magical and enchanted. You look around and you notice that there is a small house at the end of the clearing. Well, it's not so small, really. It's about the size of a small cabin. And it's also in the shape of a very large mushroom. It has a little porch running all around it. And you can see that on the porch of this mushroom-shaped cabin, that there is a lovely old hammock slowly swinging in the gentle breeze. 
Now it's a white house and it has a round red roof with white spots on it and a little red door. It has big pots on the porch too with lots of colourful flowers in them and there are daffodils growing all over the place and it looks delightful and you wonder who lives there. So you walk towards it and as you do you see glints of sparkly lights darting in and out behind the trees. They are at the back of the little house. But you're not afraid. And you wonder what it could be. It kind of looks like little fairies darting in and out of the trees. How wonderful would that be if you could actually see one? But you continue to walk to the house. And you decide to knock on the little red door. To see if anyone is at home. But before you can, the door opens and out walks two little girls and a little boy and they're all carrying little baskets they stop when they see you and you smile at them and they come towards you they all have the most amazing big kind eyes and the most beautiful smiles and they say hello to you and they tell you that their names are Delilah Madeline and Holden so you tell them your name. Delilah tells you that they are going foraging for mushrooms for their dinner and they ask you if you would like to go with them. Well, of course you say yes. You say yes, please, thank you very much. So she hands you a little basket. The four of you set off into the trees at the back of the little mushroom house. And as you walk, Madeline tells you that there are only certain mushrooms that you can forage for because some of them are not very good to eat. Some of them can make you quite sick. But she says not to worry, as she will show you which ones are safe to pick. Well, that's okay then. Holden rushes off ahead and says, Follow me, I know where they grow. He gives a little laugh and then skips off, with the three of you catching up behind him. Suddenly, Holden stops and with a big grin, points to the mushrooms he's found. Delilah stops and looks at the mushrooms and gives an excited laugh. She tells you that there are many varieties of mushrooms growing here, but she says it's very unusual because some of these mushrooms don't grow in this country at all. But because they live in this very special, magical place, they find them all the time. And she names some of the mushrooms she sees. There are button mushrooms which are the white ones and the ones that most people like to eat. And there are cremini mushrooms. They usually grow in Italy. There are portobello mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, and many, many more. Wow, that's a lot of mushrooms, you think to yourself. Madeline tells you, when you're foraging for mushrooms, you must only select mushrooms that are firm have a smooth appearance. She says not to pick any that have any spots or marks on them. And she says never pick any moist or slimy ones. They are really yucky. So for a little while, go and forage for mushrooms with Delilah, Madeline and Holden. See how many you can pick. And don't forget, you're picking them for their dinner. So you'll need lots and lots of them. So go and have some fun.
was fun, wasn't it? So the three of you go back to the little mushroom house with the red door, with your baskets filled up to the very brim with mushrooms. You have button mushrooms, bocchini mushrooms, and portobello mushrooms, and they look very tasty indeed. As you reach the little mushroom house, the door opens and a lady pops out. And she is a children's mama. She tells you that her name is Jill. Holden tells her your name and she is very pleased that the children have made a new friend. And she asks you if you would like to stay for dinner, especially as you help to pick all the tasty mushrooms. Oh yes, I would love to. Thank you very much. So you step inside the house, which is very lovely. There are big settees, with big squishy cushions on them. There's a big wooden table for you all to sit at when you have your dinner. But you all trudge into the kitchen, carrying your baskets. And you meet two more people. One is a man called Zach, who tells you that he is the children's papa. And there is another lovely lady called Lindsay. And she is a children's bonus mum. How cool is that? These children have two mums. Two mums means lots of hugs and kisses. And dads give hugs and kisses too. Now because the four of you have done all the foraging, Jill and Lindsay prepare the food for you all, while Zach sets the table and cuts some butter's lovely fresh crusty bread. So you all take your seats at the table and after a short while, all the food is ready and gets placed on the table. And Delilah tells you that they are having mushroom soup for dinner, followed by a great big mushroom tart made with cream cheese and nutty pastry with lots of salad and fresh fruit and this ice cream for pudding. Well, I must say, that sounds rather delicious to me. Lindsay tells you to tuck in and help yourself to all the lovely smelling food. So, just to be polite, of course, you do. After you've eaten your wonderful dinner, and you are feeling very full up indeed, you tell your new friends that it's time for you to go home now. So you stand up and you thank them all very much for letting you come into their home and be with them. You thank Delilah, you thank Madeline and Holden for taking you to pick the very tasty mushrooms and have lots and lots of fun with them. The children walk with you to their little front door and wave you off. And they tell you that you can come again to forage for mushrooms with them any time you want. And you smile and you turn, and you wave goodbye and you begin to walk home. But you feel so happy right now. You are so grateful to have met these wonderful children, Delilah, Madeline, and Holden and their lovely mama and papa Jill and Zach and of course not forgetting Lindsay their bonus mum oh but you can't wait to come back maybe next time you can bring a mushroom recipe with you too maybe you can try that one out but for now just breathe in gently and breathe out slowly Again, breathe in gently 
and breathe out slowly. You can feel your eyes beginning to close now. And you just breathe in gently. Breathe out slowly. And you feel so peaceful, so happy. And you feel so calm that you start to fall into a beautiful sleep. And you drift into sleep thinking about your new, very kind and very lovely friends. Delilah, Madeline, and Holden. Night-night, sweet dreams. <laughs>